Oh, Mr. Templeton, please come on. Oh, Justin? Mr. Templeton's here. Hello, Carol. I was afraid you wouldn't come by. Well, of course it came by. I said it would, didn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, you certainly did. Please, have a seat. Iris, how about some of that cold lemonade? Well, I have a project in the works that I'm very excited about, but I'm going to need your help. I had a feeling you were going to say that. What kind of project? Would well, you remember this morning when you said it was getting crowded in church? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. My wife and I, I were know, talking. I know, I know. It's the migrants. They need a place to come and worship, but our church is already overcrowded. So what they need is a place of their own. Now, see? I was just saying something like that to Emma not an hour ago. Is that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, how can I help you out, Reverend? Well, there's a building down on State Street. I believe you own it. The chins? That's the one. I want you to give that to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, uh, did I say something funny? Yeah. That's a real howler. Are we turning chins into a church for the Okies? I'm quite serious. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Would $50 work? Or they can get themselves a nice tent for 50 No, no. The Lord has spoken to me. He was quite clear. I want chins. The Lord has spoken to you. That's correct. Huh? Maybe he should have told you that property's not for sale. Are you mocking me, Mr. Templeton? I'm just saying it's not for sale. And I'm just saying I have no intention of buying it. No? You will donate it. To you? With all due respect, Reverend, you're out of your goddamn mind. How dare you take the Lord's name in vain in this house? Hello, Mr. Templeton. Back so Better, Templeton. Don't tell me you're not hungry. Look at you. You're famished. Hello? Some nice, cool lemonade. Thank you, Iris. You're welcome. 